four minutes oh, to walk. Shut up, her. Raymond. Just shut up and stand there. I had you in there, Ray. You were in there. They are in there making legal history, Ray. Legal history. Oh, boy. What is going on out here? If he doesn't get to watch people's court in about 30 seconds, he's going to throw a fit right here in your porch. This is the defendant, Alan Bohan. He says as he was moving in, he realized he and the plaintiff would never get along. What you are about to witness is real. Hi, I'm Doug Llewellyn, and welcome to the People's Court. This is the case of the renter who got cold feet. Let's watch now as Judge Wapner hears the testimony. <clears throat> I know you've been sworn, sir. I have read your complaint. Did you sublet uh, part of your apartment to the uh, defendant? Yes, sir, I did. What kind of evidence do you have? Um, as to that he had occupied the apartment and then he decided well, you to move out. have some written evidence? Yes, I do. In his handwriting. Did you write this note, sir? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I did. However, on the morning that I went to move into the apartment, I decided that things were not going to work out between the two of us. And I also felt, Your Honor, that within that three to five day period that I had time to change my mind about moving well, in. What made you feel that way, sir? I just any, any law that you know of that says after three or four no, your three honor, to I five not. days you change your mind, you can move I out? I have not looked up the actual law. If you had, you wouldn't have found it. Okay. Did he threaten to assault you or threaten to hit you? I don't have evidence of what happened that day because I was alone. However, I did call Wendy well, What right do you mean you don't have evidence? You were there. I was there. What did he do? He pushed me on that day. He pushed you? In the apartment. He pushed you. What did you do to cause him to push you? I didn't do anything, Your Honor. What, what made him come up to you and push you? I walked into the plaintiff's bedroom and he pushed me on the bed. He pushed and you on the bed? Yes, Your Honor. <gasps> he had other ideas. What was missing, sir? I'm missing $1,800 in jewelry, which I have filed a police report on. Are you suing for $100 for the $1,800? No, I'm just, did, I just changed the locks. I have no proof of this other thing other than it's, it's, a, it's a criminal matter. Your Honor, are, are you alleging that the reason you moved out is because he shoved you on the bed? The reason I moved <laughs> out was because I was uncomfortable in the situation. Are you telling me that he made sexual advances to you? Um, Your Honor, I don't know if it was actually sexual advances, but I saw that that could happen. We'll take a short recess. I'll come back and give you my decision. No notice was given here. The defendant wrote a letter to the plaintiff. He said, Kelly and I moved in together at the last minute. I hope you don't hate me too much, but my life is so weird now, and I am afraid if I don't take this chance, I'll lose my relationship. I hope we can still be friends. Signed, Alan. Uh, if I believe the, uh, the testimony that a sexual advance was made one time, uh, it still would not be enough. If you say no, someone continues to persist in that kind of thing, uh, then maybe you have a reason to terminate a tenancy. The check was 425 and a dollar for the bounce check, or stop payment, I mean. So judgment for plaintiff for 426. Mr. Bohan, who is the defendant in this case, what's your reaction to the decision? I just feel that the decision is completely wrong. I felt like if I felt uncomfortable in a situation, I should be able to back out of it, and I just don't feel like that that was a necessary judgment but what can you do well that's the judge's decision and it's final okay. what's your opinion mr snap well i think uh, uh it d doesn't pay to lie and i think his uh, peroxide has gone to his head this is the plaintiff michael abuff he claims the bar of peppermint soap recommended by the defendant's skin care salon for his skin problem actually gave him an ugly rash all over his face He's suing for $1,500 for pain and suffering. This is the defendant, Cindy Esser, owner of Pink Cheeks. This is the case of the pink cheeks that turned red. She states the soap would have helped his dry skin condition if he hadn't messed around with his wife's cosmetics. That kind of soap encourages circulation. It gives you a nice tingle. In fact, you may have that bar. I'd like you to try it. It's wonderful. It won't give you a rash. <laughs> Everything I try, Rusty tries first. Okay. <laughs> it's yours, Rusty. <laughs> Do you use a cream? I don't know where she's coming up it's with like this a stuff, moisturizer. Well, you told me that. You already before. said that you used the toner, which she said. Now she says you also used a cream. Did you tell her that? Yes, well, you I... did. <laughs> did you or didn't you, sir? I used some You're... cream, yes. Well, then what are you giving me that? I don't know where she's coming up with this stuff. <laughs> well, because... You I'll... told her. Yes, Your Honor, but what I'm trying to explain... 
if, if I could have a chance in the soap. Oh, I'm, I know I'm not giving you a chance. I haven't given you a chance. I know that. And I, I apologize for not letting you tell your story, but now you do it. Look at your bottom Thank lip. Thank you. Uh, what about his bottom <laughs> lip? <laughs> well, I'll try not to pout. That's it. It's a bad habit I have. I'll take a short research. I'll go back and give you my decision. This was the most expert cross-examination I think I've seen in a long, long time by someone who's probably not a lawyer. Uh, even, I don't think a lawyer could have done as good a job as you did. You got him to tell the truth about the toner, and you got him to tell the truth about the cream, and it, um, it was hard pulling it out, but you, you have a wonderful way with you. Uh, maybe you ought to go to law school instead of selling uh, soap. What's your reaction to what Judge Wapner just said? Well, my reaction is that uh, you better think twice before you sue a pretty face. Do you think she'd make a good attorney? Uh... <laughs> I'll pass on that question. <laughs> now, the defendant is on her way out of the courtroom. Cindy, let me ask you something. You, you were being sued for $1,500. That's a lot of money, and yet you seemed so carefree and at ease and almost jovial in the midst of the... Weren't well, you concerned? Michael, you know, all you men, you're little boys in men's bodies. Michael's a sweetheart, but he has one problem. He needs an enema. <laughs>